What's up again, guys? Babu, Mellow D, BeatJunkies.tv. We're back here talking to you guys about strobing. So let's talk about the strobing technique. This is a really innovative technique. Happened in the mid 90s. Um, mm -hmm. Technically, I want to say the first time I saw the technique, once again, we have to cite our good friend Rob Swift. The last, the first time I really think I saw the technique, like any form of it, was once again referring to his nobody beats the biz routine. Um, there's a point where toward the end of the routine, he does this pattern where he's doing um, to get, to get, funk it, to get, to get. So that was the earliest time I think I, I don't know, I didn't know what it was. To me, it was just a very, it was a new style of the tapping breakdown that was happening, you know? Um, then a few years later, um, you know, one of our partners, Shortcut, he's actually the one who's really credited with this technique and naming it. This is the exact record that Shortcut was using, Impeach a President. And he did this technique for the first time. Um, and, and talking to Short, he, you know, he was practicing with Retmatic one day and, you know, he was trying this technique. You know, but I think people thought of it more in a stationary manner, using just a small portion of the record, doing a pattern, rewinding back, repeating the pattern. But for whatever reason, that day Short just kept floating through the record. And before he knew it, he had mastered this technique of just starting at the top of the record and basically doubling up every sound. So it was a bit of like a combination of like, back in the day we had fast 3 d type like um, patterns. So it was a combination of that and the new style of doing a tap breakdown. Yeah. You know, so you essentially, you take a beat and you, you pretty much half time the beat and you put it on this 16th triplet kind of rhythm that we were starting to deal with the breakdown pattern. So Mello will demonstrate really quick what we're yapping about, the strobing technique. So that's a strobing technique. Let's talk about it for a little bit. So once again, we're using Impeach the President. Mello's starting with the records both at 12 o'clock, okay? Once again, how you start off this pattern is super important. It's gonna remind you of a couple things we've worked on in previous lessons. Um, in the breakdown variations, we talked about the double up pattern. Um, There's a point where we talked about how you stagger these two hi-hats together. Um, on the second Steve D pattern, uh, I believe we, the Steve D swing, we talked about the certain way you're supposed to drop in to start the- Where the release happens. Where the release happens. And this is a very similar thing. So, you know, to start this pattern, Mello will have his lead record at 12 o'clock on the downbeat. His second record is gonna start on that second hi-hat, which is about two o'clock. Now, what I'm gonna have Mello do is focus on how he starts off the technique, okay? He starts doing a tapping breakdown, but really pay attention to where the second record comes into play. He's gonna do the pattern and stop, okay? And we'll repeat it several times. Mello? So Mello's gonna start releasing. He's basically gonna release the kick in that second hat, all right? And very quickly, he cuts off right after that hat creating a double up of those hi-hats. And it's really important to note where this second hat comes off. It comes in like immediately after the first hat and he swiftly cuts off the sound with the fader. Once again. From there, that's gonna start the proper offset you need to complete this because that's basically the offset for the rest of the technique. Now after that, it's a matter of keeping all these sounds staggered at the same rate as you float through the record, all while properly hitting the right clicks on your fader and doing the proper tapping breakdowns. Mm -hmm. But let's zoom in once again before Mellow floats all the way through the starting point again. One more time. That's actually a great way to start just practicing and getting yourself ready to do this technique. Really note where that second hi-hat comes in. It's everything about finding the rhythm to do this. 
So what happens after you finally start learning to drop it? Once again, Mel will demonstrate. Now it's a matter of putting in the time of practice and learning how to like stay keeping this all in line as we continually float through the record. So Mello demonstrate. If you're correctly nailing this, you're hearing every sound double up. Every hat, every kick, every snare is doubling up. And you're hearing that 16th triplet rhythm throughout the whole time you're doing the technique. So that's a stroke. A couple helpful tips. Practice. This move is not easy. It looks, Mello's making it look very simple, but it's really easy to get lost once you let these records go. I know a lot of really talented DJs who still have a hard time with this because of the mere fact that you're just letting a record float all the way through. I personally find it easier to do this technique stationary, which we will be talking about in a future lesson, but don't get frustrated. Really focus on starting the technique correctly and work your way up. You know, maybe one day it'll just be a couple bars you can do. Before you know it, you'll be able to continuously float through a record endlessly. Strobing. Melody Babu, Bichogis.tv.